Hey, and welcome to an action research video. An action research has been conducted by our research team, Taha, Abdul, and Philip. Each of our researchers investigated a different avenue of research in data collection to try and maximize the outcome to how does teacher student relationships influence student behavior. Now looking into this topic, the two main factors influencing this research are student engagement and teacher-student relationships. Now it is essential to understand these two concepts. We will begin by defining the two. So student engagement is the willingness to learn. And on the other hand, the studies of teacher-student relationships from the students' perspectives demonstrated that students have an acute understanding of classroom relationships and how these relationships influence classroom participation and attitudes towards learning. Now moving on to the literature of this research. Throughout the interview aspect of the research, it was found that for teachers to build a trusting relationship with students, they must first find their ability to leave an influential impression. Once these impressions are put into play, they then have an effect on classroom management and also teacher-student relationships, as well as student engagement within the classroom. Moving on to the observational side of the research, Teacher attitudes can affect the student's engagement with in both positively and in a negative way. Now looking into the survey aspect, the development of teacher-student relationships contributes to how often a student will engage in lessons at school, as social connections is, social, is commonly sought after by most people. Most importantly, we need to note that Young, Garrett and Furlong are the researchers that have contributed most within our research. We will now look at the results to further investigate. So now looking at the results, we'll first look at the interview results. We're going to be looking at three schools, six teachers, one male, one female for each school. The schools are all boys schools, all girls schools and a mixed school. So the first teacher, they had a, a negative uh, experience in their classrooms. Uh, they got the teacher that they learned from had negative um, habits and behaviors that have transferred to him. Teacher two uh, stated that she had desires uh, for her prior educator from school, which inspired her to become a teacher. So teacher three used a similar attitude towards what their teacher used when she was learning in high school with her own students. Teacher 4 had experiences both negative and positive uh, in their own schooling experiences which, she, which they used to improve their uh, teaching philosophy in their own classroom. Teacher 5 on the other hand had memorable experiences but for the wrong reasons and has desires nothing but support for her students due to the fact that she never had that same experience as a student as herself. So teacher six uh, states that her classroom management and practices are linked to her prior relationships with her teachers when she was a student and has expressed this and made her classrooms more engaging. The next set of results we're going to be looking at is the observational analysis uh, that we've done. We're looking at year eight students at high ability class, a year 10 at low ability class, and year 11 students at a moderate level class. Throughout all three of those observations, they found that having clear rules and classroom management, as well as teacher student relationships, overall improved the learning and engagement of students in the classroom. In observations, in the classrooms in year 8 and year 10 we found that engagement was in, uh, increased better in these classes yet for year 11 students engagement was not really found in the results that we've collected. Looking at the survey results it was an average amount have found that they agreed that having student engagement in their classroom was present and also having a positive teacher relationship 
in the classroom as well. Both link that it seems, and we only found one or two to uh, strongly agree or disagree. We found that majority of them, um, secondary of that is disagree, which most have found that they did not emotionally connect to their students and students did not emotionally connect with their teachers. The other thing that we found was that if they did emotionally connect, they will then beneficially increase and most of them would agree in the sections of the survey. The most common themes that we found in our results were teacher prior experiences, teacher's attitude, and classroom environment. All these contribute to teacher-student relationships. From our obtained data, we have obtained three themes, teacher prior experiences, teacher attitude, and classroom environment. Teacher prior experiences, we found that the former experience is an important factor that impacts on classroom practices and student teacher relationship. This can be seen through the data collected from the teacher interviews, as most teachers claim that their classroom management skills are influenced by their prior experiences when they were students. From the conducted interviews, it has been shown that the teachers implement prior experiences rather it be efficient or inefficient because it is the way they have been taught from a young age. An intervention can be implemented in an observational researcher to take full notes and present feedback to the teacher, enhancing their classroom practices. This will in turn allow the teacher to reflect and implement their desired classroom strategies in order to gain rapport with students. <coughs> in support, Cohen and Goldhammer have stated that the sufficient way to find an effective teacher of teaching is to observe them in action. Further to, he elaborates on the method of observation could manage to restructure class learning. Teacher attitudes shows a lot of connection emotionally and cognitively with the student. The attitude changes according to the teacher and enhance it affects the student's ability to learn in the class. From our observation, the teacher attitude in working with different ability students has gained extra strength in their learning and enhanced the classroom environment. Throughout the surveys and the interviews shows clear indication that students are affected emotionally by the teacher's attitude. An intervention could be using rigorous and responsive learning for the teacher to listen for the student's words. Research shows that both school and environment and classroom level has a great affection for the student's learning in two different ways, emotionally and cognitively. Both emotions and cognitive management affect the student's engagement. Classroom management enables this to be triggered by the act. And this is also shown from the data that has been collected to show the importance of the teacher attitudes. Classroom environment plays a vital role in the engagement of the students. And the arrangement of the classroom and students in them either improve or reduce the attitudes of the teachers and students in their teaching and learning. Through the class observation, the teacher skills in moving the students from their peers and class settings has shown the students to start to cooperate and collaborate in class. Further, the class behaviour minimising the movement of the students around the class. And also, the rest of the class has started working collaboratively with the teacher. In support, research by Yang et al. at 2017 has shown the connection and relation of the classroom setting and how it impacts the students participating in class and involving with the teacher. Further, through the interviews has agreed that the environment in the class impacts the student's ability to perform efficiently and adequately. In the overall research, limitations can be done to effectively obtain more accurate data. For example, the survey could have been more effective if done during the middle of the term not towards the end of the term, as we have conducted. Also, a wider variety of schools and teachers can be done on. The observations could have been improved through implementing a block of three weeks rather than one day observation, which could have been conducted during the professional practice. The interview could be more effective if large quantity of teachers were studied on in order to maximize data accuracy and reliability. 
extra qualitative to support the quantitative results we have. Also, the larger pool of data over a period of time can be evident to show adequate accuracy in data, for example bias of our results that we have. Further ethical concerns can be such as consent forms and privacy for others. We have developed a new proposal of a question to advance our design and advance knowledge of action research. The new action research question we have applied is how pre-service teachers prior experiences at school with their teachers has influenced their attitudes and teaching philosophy as upcoming teachers. This question is our new proposal question for our next research action and this has to include most of the three things that we have found throughout our research and from our data and compared to this we have obtained this research question.